Okay, hi everyone. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you basic how to configure my Vitex by the command line. Okay, but in this video, I'm focused on the how to enable and disable service uh, ASA, Telnet, Winbox, perfect by the command line. Okay, and then we go to the Genesis. I will to show you and explain you how to enable. Uh, as a turn head wind box and perfect okay but in this diagram i have uh, one uh, magnetic router for the um, office and this one for the magnetic router for the home okay uh, by default uh, in the magnetic as a turn head and um, wind box and uh, perfect by default is uh, enable by default auto enable for the Okay, for all the service, uh, by default, auto and more. Okay, and then I'm go to the window HP client one and try to the remote to the magnetic office by the, the first remote by the SA connect win box and web Okay, I'm go to the okay. This is the window client. HP2 at the home okay and then I'm go to the Windows HP plan 2 and remote to the magnetic at office by the S8 first okay I'm go to the okay this is the window HP okay the, the first I'm um, remote to the magnetic at office by the S8 Okay, and then I'm removed. Okay, and then I'm my connection for the AS8. Okay, this is the protocol of the AS8. Um, and then I'm removed to the uh, magnetic router. Okay, by the public by the router at the office by the public IP okay and username and hide the admin okay get the password one two three four five six okay okay so we can the remote to the monitor at the office by the uh, public IP uh, by the ASA Okay, and then I'm um, go um, close this one and remote to the tenant again. Okay, before I'm remote to the S8 and then I'm remote to the tenant. Okay, I'm make the new connection for the S uh, connect. Okay, and then I'm tying the public IP for the magnetic router. Okay, and then my the username password. Okay, so we can remote to the magnetic uh, router at the office by the S8 tenant. Okay, and then I'm remote for the wind box okay and then we go to the magnetic office okay this one magnetic office remote also by the wind box okay and then I'm remote by the web page the tiny public IP Okay, also remote. Okay. Okay, this is the website that we remote to the magnetic router at Office. Okay, by the browser. Okay, and uh, magnetic by default auto enable all the service. It include as a tenant, a windbox, and website or as a 
or something to this uh, like that okay and then I'm going to show you how to uh, show about the switch that enable in the command line okay this is the marketing router at the uh, marketing router at the office okay and then I'm going to show you the switch of the marketing router okay you can type the command IP service okay and then you can type it okay by default service telnet ftp uh, 3.4w is been uh, perfect ASH and been bump, uh, allow and enable by default auto enable so we can disable enable uh, you just type the command enable when you want to enable some of the service like the telnet ASH been bump, or perfect Okay, and then I'm going to the disable uh, telnet and SA and allow enable for the winbox and uh, refresh. Okay. okay, and then you, you can type the command disable when you want to disable some of the week. Okay, and then I'm disable telnet and one more disable SA. Okay, you can so Okay, when you type the command disable telnet and SA, you will to see okay this this symbol H H on the telnet and H on the SA. Before you not get to uh, this board, you can see no H uh, in front of the telnet and H in front of the uh, SA. Okay, and then you can uh, testing remote from the home to the when you disable as age and internet you can remove testing from the home to the multi router at the office. Okay, and then I go to the Windows P client to at the home office and remote to multi at the home and remote to the multi at the office. Okay, I'm going to the Windows P client to. I'm go to remote to my page office office by the SA. Okay, and then my connection. Okay, I'm to the SA protocol and then I'm trying the public IP for the page office. Okay, connect. Okay, then you see the remote system will choose the connection. It means the switch of the ASA disabled. You can remote to the magnetic office because magnetic office uh, is disabled to this ASA also. Okay, and then you can click my connection for the to the protocol telnet and remote again. Click connect. Okay, so you can connect also. You cannot connect the remote system if you the connection because we disable the service as a and tenant already. So you can connect by the as a and tenant. Okay, but you can connect by the wind box. Okay, I'm go to the wind box. Okay, and then I'm connect. So you can connect. connect. Too. you can uh, see the name magnetic uh, office uh, you can connect by the wind box because we allow the service wind box and allow the service of the web page okay and then i'm go to the browser and type the public IP. Okay, so you can connect to the winbox by the web page. Okay. Okay, and then I'm going to the disable the uh, winbox. 
and Wi-Fi allow uh, ASH and internet. Okay, and then we go to the enable ASH. Okay, enable internet. Okay, and this ball uh, will pop. This ball uh, Wi-Fi. for the display okay then you see internet and ball as a and the ball for the web page this ball and uh, when mount this ball okay and then you can testing from the video USB remote to the multi office okay I'm going to the window USB client to at the at the home of at the home and remote to the magnetic office okay before we disable the ASH and turn it and ball with box and, and wait for it but internally we enable the ASH and ball turn it and we disable the wind box and wait for it okay and then I'm go to the testing okay I'm make the new connection I'm tie the public IP Okay, so you can access okay. okay so you can accept by the ASA okay and then I'm disconnect and go to the migration for the tenant okay tenant okay okay so you can accept also for the ASA and tenant and then I'm go to the wind box and uh, testing uh, set to the magnetic. Okay, can be set or not. Okay, so you can uh, set from the wind box because we disable service uh, wind box from the magnetic router of we. Okay, and try to connect again. Okay, no, cannot connect from the wind box. Okay, and then I'm um, go to the web browser and tie the asset uh, from the web page okay so you cannot asset also okay we disconnect already for the wind box and the web page okay connect the mode to the magnetic office by the wind box and the web page but you can remove by the asset and Okay, I'm making connection again and okay. Okay, you can allow this all the service, you can try service. Okay, and ball, big box, okay, and ball, the fit. And you see for the internet uh, and the ball allow for the web page allow for the SSH and the ball okay for the wind box and the ball so you can access all the service with box as a telnet and the page okay, and then you can try set to the wind box okay, so you can access to the wind magnetic office okay, so you can remote to this uh, outer Okay, before we cannot because we this ball but now I'm in the ball okay and then you can go to the web browser and set up set by web page okay so you can access okay okay web page you can access okay and then you can Access by the tenant. Tenant. Okay. Hide the public IP of the marketing router at the office. Okay, so you can go to the admin and password. Okay. Okay, for this video, I'm going to the show you uh, as a tenant and win box.
and I played already okay and in this video I'm finished for the next video I'm try to find the, the basic of the uh, basic of the configure my pick by the command line example configure not uh, by the command line configure default role and enable uh, not set to internet also in the next video okay for the video I'm finished okay please don't forget help me to share like comment especially subscribe my channel Cisco Cisco my learning or Cisco Django. Okay, so thank you for watching.